anyways. Go to the net. Oh. Oh, what a pass, dude. Told you I'd give you a sauce. Hit you with that sauce. Alright guys, so today I'm going to talk about the saucer pass. Um, to do the saucer pass, you'll just pass with R1 as opposed to R2. And the difference is going to be um, that the saucer pass elevates the puck off the ice, allowing you to make passes through tighter lanes. The longer you hold R1, um, you'll charge it, so this will allow you to pass further and harder. There is no aim assist on the pass, which makes saucer passes harder to connect on, um, but you can also do a lot more with the saucer pass. So once you master it, you'll be able to make passes that would be impossible with an R2 pass. Um, and also the speed of saucer passes is a little slower. So a fully charged saucer pass is going to be slower than a fully charged R2 pass. And uh, likewise, if you tap R2, that's going to be much faster uh, than if you just tapped R1, and I'll show you what I mean by that later. So right off the bat, I'm just going to show you the most practical use of the saucer pass, and that's on the breakout as a defenseman on the boards. With an R2 pass, um, it might be picked off, but with a saucer, it's going to be much safer. So here's a good example of what I mean. So this guy is in the pass lane. His stick is there. Even his body is really, really there also. Um, so... If I pass this with R2, odds are this would get picked off. So I'm going to use the sauce, uh, and I'm actually going to bank it off the board. And that's going to make this much less likely to be picked off. Uh, it's still possible the, uh, for the player to bat it out of midair, but it's, it's not super common. And on the boards, it's even less common. So that's a great tool to use on, uh, on the breakout uh, or even really in any zone. The sauce down the boards is a great uh, weapon to have. It's also great for hitting guys on the breakaway. If they're taken off and they're behind the defense um, and you see just even a small little lane, the saucer pass is great for getting passes through there. So here there's three bodies in between the lane uh, between yellow and red and the saucer pass gets through all of them right here. Here again, you've got a body in the lane. A saucer pass is your best bet for getting the puck to that guy for the breakaway. Here again, look at where this puck goes. With an R2 pass, this is not possible. Throw it right between these two guys and hit King for a breakaway. It ended up being a goal. And it's also important to remember that um, saucer passes are much more sensitive when you're charging them. You know, if you hold R1 for too long, there's a chance that you'll throw the saucer pass over your teammate's stick and he won't get it. So a lot of times you're better off just um, tapping it for a split second. It's better to fall short with a saucer pass than to, to launch it too far. So here, this one, we're pretty, pretty close together. So I just kind of tapped this just for a second. Um, and that ended up being perfect. Here's the clip you saw at the beginning. Yeah, it, I love using the sauce on two-on-ones when that guy's just kind of standing in the middle. You'll get a lot of goals using the saucer pass here. Here again in the offensive zone, um, Red's got some space, but there's some bodies in between him and blue. So Jibs does a great job of using the saucer here. Um, an R2 pass would never have gotten across there, most likely. Here again, this is I use the saucer pass as kind of an insurance policy. So I see blue down in front of the net, and he's open for a one-timer if I can get it to him. But there's this pesky guy at the top of the circle trying to pick it off, trying to get a breakaway. Um, and I know if I use an R2 pass here, that's exactly what I'm going to give him. So I use the R1 pass. And that's able to get through. Kind of an awkward one. It it hit uh, the winger and he had to settle it, but he was still able to get a quick shot off and score. Here in Hockey Ultimate Team, looking for the one-timer. And the sauce is great uh, for finding one-timer one -timer cross creases uh, in the offensive zone. Here's an interesting one. So... There were several bodies in between me and Teal, who's, who I wanted to get the puck to. One of the sticks in the lane is my teammates. And if I used an R2 pass here, Blue likely would have gotten the puck, but I didn't want him to get the puck. So I, I decided I was going to try and sauce it past him. That ends up going right over his stick to the guy that I wanted, and we got a goal. Uh, the saucer pass is also great uh, when your teammate has just a step on the defense. So... 
he's red is about even with the furthest back defenseman, but his stick is reaching out past him. So if you just aim a saucer pass at his stick, um, hopefully you'll be able to get a pass through. This is just another one of those passes that's much harder harder to get across uh, with an R2. You've, you've got a better chance getting it through with a sauce. <clears throat> but here is my favorite use of the saucer pass, and, uh, and it's the lead pass. So here, as you see, if I tried to make a direct pass to green, it, it would just be impossible. There's two bodies directly in the lane. Um, so my best bet is to aim up ahead and aim for a spot just about there, which is where I end up putting this pass, um, and make sure that it's a slow pass so that green has a chance to catch up to it. An R2 pass would just be, uh, would have too much velocity, so it wouldn't be slow enough for green to catch up to. Um, so like I said, if you just tap R1, that's going to be much slower than if you tapped R2, and that's kind of what I'm going to do here. It's a little bit more than a tap, but I mean, I, would, I just barely hold it for a second and let go. Um, and this is a very difficult pass to make, but like I said, you know, there's a reason R1 passes are harder to do. It's because that you can do more with them. And another great thing you can use that slow, uh, R1 pass for is uh, the dump in. But you see this happen all the time in the NHL. Guys uh, dump the puck in to themselves. You don't really see people use it in this game, but you can do it and it's actually really useful. So here I'll show a couple instances in which I did that. So I throw it slow down the boards, catch up with it, win, win the battle, and keep the puck. Um, here, another really slow one. Beat the defender to the puck, win the battle, and we end up getting a goal out of that one. <clears throat> and here's a really nice one here. Gallagher throws a really soft one, squeezes just by the defenseman, gets the puck back, and throws it in the net. So that's pretty much all the uses of the saucer pass um, that I can think of. Once you master it, uh, it, it'll elevate your game so much. I mean, like I said, there's just uh, so many things you can do with the saucer pass that just are not possible with an R2 pass. So anyway, guys, that is the saucer pass.